Well, it's, I mean, obviously it's fun for me because I'm the, I, I have a uniqueness a little bit in this room in that I've coached in the NBA, I've coached in the old CBA, which is now the G League, and coached in the W, so you have, uh, I think my knowledge of what it takes to build a team is respected in the room, um, or I wouldn't have been asked to be a part of this. Um, I think that, you know, my experience with uh, Monumental since I've been here has been a progression of taking a team that was at the bottom and now trying to compete for a championship uh, every year. I think that experience has helped particularly, you know, going in a new building and, and energizing a team that all f for all intents and purpose was dormant when I took over. Um, and it's been fun to watch. I like watching things grow. Um, you know, it's, it's funny how you gravitate back sometimes as a coach to being the, the builder. And I like that process, so this is fun. No, I, I think it's a combination. You have some good veteran players here, and you have a couple of young players here who are growing. Um, I, I, I think you have to you have to put all facets in. You got to build part of it, and if you can add some veteran pieces as you go, that's a great process. But I think that you don't just throw you know things together. I think you know for, for whatever you know the, the old adage about patience is a virtue. It's hard in sports these days. We're in we're in a what have you done for me lately business. But you're in a league with 30 teams and only one gets to win. So you have to you have to work your way up to get to that point. And fans if they as long as they see a team that comes out and plays hard every night and plays unselfishly and does the right thing, then you've already done the first step. And I think that was my thought when I came to the Mystics is you build with energy. Uh, when we were rebuilding Chicago, you know, it's nice that you can grab Michael Jordan, but we, you know, one player doesn't do it. You got to get a bunch of players who buy into the concept. You got to have people who are, it hurts when you lose and you're willing to, to do the extra things to be good. But they got to be unselfish. They got to be, you know, lifting each other up. One of the things we talk about all the time is your job as a player is to lift up another teammate. And, and that's part of what we have to do. Well, we've already done some of it, so I think that's, you know, we, we have a leg up on some of the teams in our league. We've been able to kind of augment everything that, you know, several years ago we were able to uh, bring in a mental performance coach and, you know, add to our strength and conditions that we have a nutritionist, we have all those things that a lot of WNBA teams weren't able to have. It's nice to be in a new facility, but I think you also have to help them in, in career planning. You know, the, the, the basketball life is really short, so do players get an opportunity to go do other things, whether they want to coach, do they broadcast, do they want to be in marketing, you do all those kinds of things. So I think that's the first thing you want to do for all your players. Do their families need something? You know, moving from a new, from one city to a new city, there's a, there's a process that you, you know, that's uncomfortable. Um, and try to help you know players through that process, and we'd like to do that with all of our teams. But I know that that's been a thing that we've tried to do with ours, and you have to do that. You know, they've got to feel like every they can turn anywhere they need to in the organization and get help for something. And I think that's the plan.